That is awesome, dude. Look how red he is. That's real animal style right there. <laughs> look at that. Huh? He's a day maker, baby. Huh? Look at that. Rio Animals, presented by Contender Boats. This week we went to one of my favorite places on the west coast of Florida, the plantation on Crystal River. Got the opportunity to fish with my, my main man, Captain Mario Costello. Always, always, year in and year out, trip after trip. It's always something different, always a different location. Always just a real exciting adventure every time we get to go to the plantation on Crystal River. Incredible night last night here at the plantation on Crystal River. We're in Crystal River, Florida. My main man, Captain Mario Costello, is going to take me fishing. We've got a, we've got a beautiful early January day. Uh, no wind. It's nice and warm out. Mm -hmm. What's the plan for today? I think we'll do a little bit of trout and sheep's head fishing today. It's our yep. wintertime thing. Uh, we'll do start out with the uh, trout in the morning, go over to the sheep's head uh, midday, and then come back to the trout in the afternoon to finish it off. Like a good day to me. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's go fishing. All right. Well, Mario had been on a, a pretty good trout bite. It's that time of year when a lot of the big trout kind of come up into the shallows, three, four foot of water. It's also the time of the year when the big sheephead come in and, and get ready to spawn. So, you know, hoping to obviously go to work with some artificials, throw the mirror lures, catch a bunch of nice big trout, drift in the grass flats, and then slide offshore, work some of these great rock piles they have here at this part of the west coast of Florida. And, catch some really big sheep out. That was the goal. Yeah, this is kind of a unique part of the west coast of Florida because it's real rocky, a lot of limestone, a lot of lime rock bottom, uh, a lot of rock piles in shallow, and it stays shallow a long ways offshore. You know, we've run 15 miles offshore, 10, 11, 12 miles offshore, and you're only in 20, 25 feet of water. So it's a really unique part of the west coast of Florida as far as the estuary goes. So I guess we made about a 10, 12 mile run if you count the river. Mm -hmm. It takes you six miles or so to get out of the river. What uh, what made you stop right here, first stop here this morning? Well, we're fishing all these uh, these uh, flats here that have the yellow lime rock bottom, okay. some sparse pepper seed grass here, or kelp grass, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all these things have been producing quite well here in the, in the winter time. Do you think there's a big difference between the, the trout fishing on the, you know, colder, winters versus the milder winters or do you think they're they're migrating and kind of doing their thing either way i think they're doing their thing either way but um we do need a couple of cold snaps every now and again even as bad as it, i as i say it it's you get hard cancellations it's really it really is <laughs> it's hard to ask for you yeah. but we do need a couple of cold snaps about every five to seven days if we get a cold front to come through it it really it does kind of concentrate all the trout okay but um they're going to migrate back and forth either way this is uh, Mirror Lure Little John in Golden Bream, one of the colors that Mario said has been working really good up here in Crystal River. It's kind of a dark brown with gold flake. Uh, a lot of soft plastic bait companies have this color. Um, Little John is just a great bait. You know, it's real versatile, works really good on trout, caught a lot of snook, a lot of redfish on them, super tough. And like I said, everything eats it, so great tool. There's one. All right. I'll tell you what, dude, sitting on the bottom, Really? I felt him pick it up. Yep. Long pause right there. Picked it up off the bottom. They're really, really. It's a slow bite, huh? Slow bite, yep. Look at this guy. Well, you got him hooked good, though. Well, at that time I whacked him. Yeah. I learned my lesson on that other one. You got to whack him a little bit. God, that's a pretty fish. Yeah, they're, they're all beautiful fish. That little John's the, the ticket out here. You can kind of see the way those eyes are set up on the top of their head. They mm -hmm. sit real high on the head here and they sit down They sit down in that grass and they're waiting for those baits to come right over in that strike zone. And that strike zone can be six inches, maybe a foot. Any more than that, you get out of that strike zone and you don't get them. Mm. You know, you talk to a lot of guys that can't get comfortable with artificials and that's the key. The key is finding that strike zone and keeping the bait in the strike zone the maximum amount of time that you can keep it on every cast. That's how all the great bass fishermen, all the great pro red fishermen, that's how they do it. They keep the bait in the strike zone for long periods of time. That's how they end up winning tournaments and catching a lot of fish. You know, Crystal River, just to me, this place just never gets old. Again, I've been filming and fishing here for many, many years, and it's just an absolutely incredible trip for me, kind of back into old Florida. 
as soon as you leave uh, the, the plantation here on Crystal River and you head up the river to, to get out into the Gulf and into Kings Bay, it's just, it's so beautiful. I mean, it's peaceful and there's, there's big trees everywhere and it's, it's, it's marsh all over, it's quiet, it's gorgeous, it's pristine. It's exactly why they call this the Nature Coast. I mean, it's just an incredible piece of the Florida landscape. Real Animals is brought to you by Quantum Fishing Reels. Outsmart, outfish, outlast. Ray Marine, simply superior. Mirror Lure, turn on the bite. Ingle, high performance coolers. You know, throwing artificials, uh, especially for trout, you know, there may not be a better way to get young anglers to spend some time and really learn how to throw artificial baits. You know, when you get on the grass flats this time of year, the fish are really concentrated. There's a lot of them. It's real easy for people to use artificial baits to catch these trout. And they're very plentiful. They're great table fare. And again, it's a great opportunity to take young anglers or maybe older anglers that have just never spent any time with artificials and teach them the art of catching fish on artificial baits and how much fun it can really be. So, There's one. Oh, boy. Finally. Oh, boy. Squeaker. She's a squeaker. Looks like a good fish. <laughs> a good squeaker. Oh, boy. Ooh, a little jumper. Just gotta get your hands wet if you're gonna handle them. Come here. I know, I know, I know, I know. I get it, I get it. <laughs> Not my fault. Uncle Little John got you. Beautiful fish. You can tell the water is just not that cold. Uh, uh, uh. Settle, simmer, 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 simmer. I'll let you go. You know the nice thing about speckled trout is, you know, all along the Gulf Coast, up the eastern seaboard, you know, especially when the trout get into that 18 to 25, 26, 28 inch range, they become, you know, pretty trophy eyed fish, if you will. You know, everybody looking to catch those monsters. And um, the nice part is on most days uh, here in, in and around the state of Florida, you can get out and you can find a trout bite somewhere. All right, I made a little switch on Mike there. I was using uh, that golden bream color, but I made the switch to, uh, I believe this was chicken. Uh, it's about an inch longer or so, but uh, working just the same, catching beautiful trout. It's got a little groove on the back of it for that for that uh, jig head to slide right in. Works just as good as those regular Little Johns, but we're gonna try to mix it up a little bit. We might even use three or four other different colors to see what works the best. So I know that, you know, in guide years, you haven't been guiding all that long, right? Three, no, four, or five years? Uh, Valentine's Day will make it four years. Okay. 2017 Valentine's Day will make oh. it. Year, it starts year number four for me. But you've been fishing here? Forever, since I can remember. <laughs> oh boy. I'm fishing here today. Yeah, that one stopped at night. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Nice. You lumped it. Yeah, this one's a little guy though. So this one's gonna take the D hooker. I don't wanna touch this guy. Trout tool extraordinaire right there. Yeah, Everybody sure. should have them. Yeah, D hooker works great. You just take them and slide it right underneath that hook and uh, reverse the pressure and just give it a little shake. Off she goes. If you do have to touch it, remember to always wet your hands. Don't use a towel. They got a slime coat on them. That slime coat's what keeps them alive. So you wanna make sure your hands are wet or use that D hooker. Going back to your uh, <laughs> time fishing here in Crystal River before that trout decided to butt into our conversation. Yeah. So, I mean, you've been fishing here since you were a kid. Yeah, since I was a little kid, I used to have a little flat back canoe, a little jet on the back of a 20 horse jet. And we used to run around the back country all the time when we were young and fish the back country a lot. I was a big redfish fan back then and I'm getting more into the trout and, uh, and different things like that. The triple tail, love catching triple tail, snook. You know, one of the things that kind of blows me away every time I get here, and we were talking about this earlier, eight, nine, maybe 10 times we've, you know, film mm -hmm. together, and we always seem to come up with different stuff. I mean, it never seems to be an off season here in Crystal River. It's like you're not too far north that it gets cold enough to shut everything down, and you're not 
too far south that you don't get the nice change of season. Right, it's you a year-round fishery. We, um, it all depends on, on what month it is and what the water temperature, it's pretty much based on the water temperature. Sure. All right, we uh, bite kind of slowed down here. Got quite a few fish here, but I think it's time to go sheephead fishing before this tide dumps all the way completely out. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I can do a sheephead or two. Yeah, sheephead's fun. <laughs> Real Animals is brought to you by South Seas Island Resort, Spider Wire, Nothing Gets Away, Bull Bay Rods combined with Fuji Guides for a difference that you can feel. Strike First Lures, Outfish Everybody. You know, sheepshead are one of those fish I really get excited for, you know, January and February, right around the full moons in, in those two months or when a lot of the big breeders roll in and, and that's when the sheepshead action usually picks up really good on the west coast of Florida. Um, and it's a nice change of pace fish, you know, it's not something that we get in the summertime or we don't get as many of them, you don't get as many opportunities to fish for them. So it, it adds to the variety when we get into our winter months here in Florida. Made a little run out here to 15, 20 feet of water, fishing some of Mario's favorite rock piles. See if we can get that wintertime sheephead bite going here. We're fishing on uh on some rocky bottom, bo uh, rocks and ledges actually. This one in particular is a rock pile, but there's rocks and ledges all over the all over the place out here. There's the bite right there. Oh man, I need to wait a little bit longer. But uh, this is all rocky bottom. There's there's grouper, snapper, but uh, today we're trying to get the sheephead. Let's see what kind this is. Ooh. <sighs> I think this is the right one. What? Oh my gosh. Like He's tugging. It. Yep, that's the right kind oh, right nice. there. Look at that pig there. Yeah. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Look at, Look at that. that. Here you go. I'll help you. All right. Wow. Might need some help with this one. Oh my God. Look at the Another size beast. of that pig there. <laughs> 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 that rod was doubled yeah. over. Oh my God, look at the colors. See if we can get that thing firmly embedded in his mouth. You might have to do it. We got a copy app on him, bro. There it goes. Got a mouth on him like a billy goat. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible, man. What a great fish. Yeah, there we go. It's a great time of the year when these come in. They're so tasty. Look at that, huh? You know, one of the really neat kind of inspiring things for me that I see out of this group of guides here out of Homosassa, Crystal River, Yankee Town is they tend to police themselves a little bit. You know, uh, uh, the sheephead legal limit is, is fairly high per person per day. And these guys know that they have such an incredible estuary and they've taken it upon themselves to decrease that limit. So they take less than the legal limit for their customers every day. And I think it's just so forward thinking and it's so smart. It's, it's very conservation minded. And it's, it's something I'd like to see more of the guides do around the state of Florida. You know, pay attention to your fishery, especially as popular as sheephead are, trout are here, heavily targeted in this area, especially this time of year, to take a little bit less than what your full legal limit is. That's just smart, again, forward thinking, conservation. This fishery is gonna be strong for many years because the pros at the top of the fishery are paying attention to those limits and doing their part. All right, he's got it this time. Let's see if he stays with it. Ooh, that'll yeah, boy. he stayed with it. He's not that big. Whoa, oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch you fish for a while, Mario. How oh, about that? Lord. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, nice another fish. beast. Good another flash. Beast. Oh yeah, look at that one. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my God! Oh. The land of the big rock pile, right? Yeah. Wow, look at that monster! <laughs> Jesus, good God! Look at the size of that sheephead, dude. Yeah. Either. Seriously, dude, I'm afraid to grab him. He might eat my arm. <laughs> These are all. Oh my God! Four look and five, six-pound sheephead. Size of that. Look at that. Yeah. 
is ridiculous. Look how big his, look, you know how big Mike's hand is. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, that is a fat sheep head too. Yeah. A lot of these, big, you know, big. are big females, right? Yes, they're all big females like that. Wow. How pretty is that? Mario, you the man, you got the trick too, buddy. Yeah. That little paw is that patient. Real Animals Tip of the Week is brought to you by Gator Gems Tackle, not just another tackle store. Hey gang, this week's Tip of the Week, I wanna to talk to you about something really, really important. You know, one of the really cool things about being a boat owner is when you get to hook that boat up to your truck and grab the family, you load everything up and you take your boat on vacation with you or you take it to the water for a couple of days, whatever it may be, maybe it's even for just a day. A couple of things you can do with your trailer and your truck to make sure that that day goes really, really good for you. Nothing worse than being that guy on the side of the road that's got to leave his boat behind because you got a bad hub or something crazy went on with your boat trailer. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure first that your truck is equipped to pull your boat. Depending on the size of your boat, you want to make sure you have the right size vehicle. My F-250 does a great job for my bay boat here. When you're hooking your boat up, you want to make sure that you're latched down. You latch that trailer down really good. Make sure it's secure. Make sure the pin is in place so that latch can't come forward while you're running. You want to make sure your electrical's hooked up so that your lights work in the back so other drivers on the road know which way you're going, whether you're stopping, turning left or right. You also want to make sure that your chains are attached to your vehicle as well. That way if something does come loose, for some reason your hitch fails, you have an issue there, your boat stays with your truck, you don't want it running loose on the interstate. Then what I want you to do is I want you to check the tires on your trailer, the hubs, make sure your hubs are lubed. These are just a few things you can do to ensure you and your family have a great fishing adventure with your boat. That's your tip of the week. Real Animals is brought to you by Deeper, discover water with your smartphone. Plantation on Crystal River. Pro Marine, quality marine engine parts overnight. Closed captioning provided by Gator Ford. The Plantation on Crystal River is a beautiful 50 year old 232 acre old Florida style resort offering comfortable accommodations and a full service spa. They call this the nature coast for good reason. Fishing is spectacular from snook, trout and reds to big grouper and snapper. On-site activities range from golf to boating, fishing and swimming with the manatees in the natural springs of Kings Bay. The Real Animals Fishing Show can't recommend a better place to stay on the nature coast than the plantation on Crystal River. Real Animals Tackle Box is brought to you by CCA Florida and CCA Florida Star Tournament. Rolls Axle Trailers, built like no other. Today's Real Animals Tackle Box, Captain Mario and I are using our usual Real Animals Signature Series 7 foot 2 inch. They're medium power, fast action spinning rods. We're throwing artificial baits with these. We're throwing quarter ounce mirror lure little johns and Mirror Lure Little John XLs. This is perfect. Whenever I'm throwing artificials, this is my rod and reel combo of choice. It's got the Quantum Smoke PTS 30 spinning reel on it. We're using that 10 pound Spiderwire Ultracast Invisibraid. Makes great long casts combined with the Fuji K guides, the backbone of this rod and the fast action. You can throw plastics a country mile, cover a lot of water really, really easy. 25 pound Berkeley fluorocarbon leader. We're using that 25 pound on both the, the shallow water stuff we were doing, catching the trout. When we were going out deep after the sheephead and things like that, we're using cut shrimp. We upped our game a little bit here because you never know what you can catch out there. Sometimes you can end up with a decent sized gag grouper or a cobia. But we went to a knocker rig. We've got a three quarter ounce egg sinker on here with a two aught Nautilus light circle hook. All this stuff is super tackle. All the stuff you need to do exactly what we did today is right here. You gotta check this stuff out. Help yourself catch a bunch of fish. I think I'll leave that one whole. There you go. Oh, oh that's that chunk too. Good lord. <laughs> oh, that was a, oh, oh, oh uh, no. I don't think that's a sheephead. But maybe. It might be one of them big 10 pounders. It might be. Oh, it is, dude. Oh my God. Is it? Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this sheephead is enormous, bro. 
<laughs> Mario, you just crack me up. Every time I fish with you, dude, it is something else, bro. <laughs> Wait till you see the size of this sheephead, bro. Holy Seriously. Smoke, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Look at the size of yeah, this freak this of nature. Nine and oh, a half, my, oh my god. Maybe ten. Dude, oh, you got him lassoed. That's why he swam so funny. <laughs> you got him lassoed. Oh, yeah, he is lassoed, isn't he? Oh, golly. Oh. Let's see if we can get this guy in the boat. Yeah, I got him in the yard. Oh, we know oh, he got came off. Good, 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 good. He just swam around. Dude, that's a <laughs> PIG hog. It's probably your biggest. Uh, that's my biggest, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to need a picture of that. Oh, my gosh. That's a stud. <laughs> oh, my word. Look at that. <laughs> Say, uh, no, I'm not sticking my fingers in your mouth. You can count on that. There you go. Good Lord. That is a beast. Freaking Mario monster. Costello, that's the biggest sheep head I've ever caught in my life. Yeah, we've, this one's 23, 24 inches. And we've caught some big ones together before. Oh, yeah. That one's a stud. Look at the big belly. Yeah. Big female. Big fat one. Yeah, big there you fat go ahead and get that one. The plantation on Crystal River is just an, it's just an incredible little gem nestled into the nature coast here, you know, with, with really high quality golf courses, swim with the manatees, and enjoy scallop season, and all that the nature coast has to offer. The plantation is just the place to come here. It's just super comfortable, super friendly. I can't recommend it highly enough. You know, looking back on the day, you know, when I talked to Mario earlier in the week, he said it was going to be trout, it was going to be sheephead, and that's exactly what we got into. He called it this morning. Beautiful weather, beautiful stay here at the plantation on Crystal River. This definitely won't be my last time to, uh, to come here and visit and fish this incredible estuary. I'll be back way sooner than later.